What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to these videos brought to you guys by Azul and I've reviewed the Access 1 and Access 2 in the past and today we're taking a look at the latest iteration known as the Access 3. So of course, as you guys know, this is a fanless PC stick. You can actually hold it in your hand and yet it's a full-fledged computer built into a tiny lightweight device that has USB ports as well. Um, it has things like an Ethernet port. It's absolutely incredible. It even has a little antenna so you can actually uh, find the internet wirelessly as well. How cool is that? Now all you do is Plug this HDMI device into a TV or a monitor or something of those sorts and all of a sudden you have a full functional computer for either business or entertainment and it's fully portable. You can have this computer maybe at home and then you can put it in your pocket and bring it to work and maybe you could even have it in like a car or something if you have a tiny little screen or something of those sorts. Anything is possible with some of these and people get really creative and run servers and things and automate things using these as well. But anyhow, what exactly do you get when you buy one of these? Well, there are two USB 3.0 ports built directly into this and of course you also get the Ethernet port that I mentioned along with a really 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 awesome antenna that allows you to access the internet wirelessly and there's even a headphone jack but my favorite little thing is this thing is tiny and it might store some of your very valuable information so they even have one of those little security locks that you know you can plug a little device into and all of a sudden this thing won't be going anywhere whether anyone tries to steal it or not. Now, what exactly are the specifications on this? Because that's where things like the Access 3 compare against the Access 2 and 1. So, there is the Apollo Lake processor if you want the cheaper one, but now there's an all-new Gemini Lake N4100 processor as well. It's slightly more expensive, but it is totally worth the processing power. As I noticed in my testing, everything is a lot smoother. You can run a lot more tabs, and of course, everything is very, very fluid, especially with Windows 10, you know, taking up a little bit more work than it used to. But nonetheless, there's also options in terms of storage. So of course, there's the four gigabyte memory and 32 gigabyte storage option. Then there's the four gigabyte memory, 64 gigabyte storage option as well. Now, by no means is this a full on, you know, storage device where you want to place all your photos or something of those sorts. In the end, it is a mini PC stick, so keep that in mind. Now, there are options for Windows as well. In fact, you also have an NIX OS-like option as well, but the main thing people are going to be getting is probably Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, which does cost slightly more, but if you're looking for using this for business, then this is probably the best way to go. Now, you can also change that if you're really feeling it. You can just jump into the BIOS on this and get Ubuntu on it if you really want, so whatever you want it's possible there's also other things like uh, full-fledged memory is emmc at 32 gigabytes so of course if you're wondering what type that is and the ethernet can process up to one gigabyte per second internet as well it also has built-in bluetooth so if you want to connect a keyboard or a mouse or a pair of headphones or a bluetooth you are perfectly set in terms of that as well and if you're wondering about the hdmi output because you brought i don't know you bought a brand new samsung tv and you're wondering if this thing can handle it well it can actually process 4k at 30 frames per second so feel free to stream netflix and things off of this actually tried and it streams very well uh, the internet's fast and we have 200 megabyte per second internet here so of course everything is super super smooth but my favorite thing is i mentioned storage and i mentioned that you know you shouldn't really use this for full-on storing a million different photos or something it's not to say you can't because there's one thing i left out it also has a micro sd slot and that can support up to 256 gigabytes so if i were you i'd simply you know opt for the 32 gigabyte option and then just get maybe a 128 gigabyte uh micro sd and just like that, I have full-fledged storage for all the different things that I possibly need. But my favorite part about this is that it is tiny. It has a sleek little design. It's very, very well built. If you drop this thing, it'll be perfectly fine. In fact, I would bet you you could probably slam this against a tree or something and it would still be perfectly fine. It's that durable and overall, it's very, very safe as well. Um, it's something that, you know, you can place in your pocket, keep it on you at all times, and it's a, it's maybe a slightly bigger than, you know, the palm of your hand. I can hold it. I can even hide it in my hand if I close it. So, you know, it's very, very useful. And so if you're looking for another PC, then this is probably the way to go. The last thing I'll say is this thing is also very useful for kids as well. If you don't want to get your kid like a full-on computer or something of those sorts, get one of these and plug it into a monitor. And, you know, this, you might be able to play a few games, stream a little bit of YouTube, and it might be just just enough for them and on the upside you save a bit of money go ahead and check this out in the link below guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off